Right now at 5, investigators find an arsenal at the home of the man who opened fire on his workplace, despite the fact he was legally prohibited from having weapons. Authorities are still trying to figure out why Anthony Tong opened fire on co-workers at WTS Paradigm on Wednesday. The evidence recovered from Tong's home showed this might have been planned well in advance. A search warrant reveals authorities found hundreds of rounds of ammunition, multiple magazines, ammunition belts, scopes, and a silencer, among other things. The latest on those wounded in the attack, two in serious condition, one in fair condition. We know one of those victims was shot ten times. A statement released by the company WTS Paradigm says Tong was in good standing with them. He was not facing any disciplinary action. Court records show this is not the first time Tong has had issues in the workplace. As Ben Jordan reports, Tong could not legally own a firearm because of a mental health incident more than a decade ago. Tong's concealed carry license was permanently revoked in South Dakota for public safety concerns. He told police he needed protection because co-workers were talking badly about him. Where did he get this gun? It's a question that's crossing the minds of many today in Middleton, a community reeling from the rampage at this office building. Whoever gave him that gun didn't do the proper background check or he bought it from somebody privately who didn't know but should have. Police say Anthony Tong brought a handgun and lots of ammo to work with him on Wednesday. He fired several rounds and seriously injured three co-workers with a gun he wasn't allowed to own. If someone wants to get something, they will find a way to do that. Court records show Tong's concealed carry license was revoked due to a mental health incident in 2004. Sioux Falls police entered his apartment to find guns and hundreds of rounds of ammunition. Quote, the defendant made statements that there were people at work that were talking bad about him, but would not elaborate. That resulted in uh, law enforcement um, coming in and um, eventually having a court order to revoke his current CCW license. Middleton Police Chief Charles Folk says federally licensed firearm dealers would have had access to that information in the required background checks before selling a customer a gun. As for the gun tongue used in the shooting, investigators are still trying to figure out whose hands it's passed through. The FBI has interviewed Tong's family who lives out of state, still trying to figure out a motive. In Middleton, Ben Jordan, today's TMJ4. And police do not know if the victims in Wednesday's attack were targeted or whether they were shot at random.